Hey guys, welcome to the card lounge where I give you tutorials on computer aided design programs and software. So today I'm going to continue with Archicad. If you still need an introduction to Archicad, I have a link. I have an introduction video. Brace yourself. It's an hour long, but I think it will be very helpful for you because it gives you the interface. It gives you some shortcuts. It really introduces you to the program. So if you're really interested in learning a drafting program, I usually prefer Archicad. It's a Graphisoft uh, software and yeah, so today we're going to learn about uh, meshes, which is the ground. If you're a landscape architect or you're interested in landscape design, this could be beneficial to you. And I'm going to break this down in two parts so that it's not overwhelming for you. So first I'm going to just show you how to basically draw and put contours. And then later on I'll show you how to bring in already drawn contours. You already learned how to put in 2D drawings uh, from AutoCAD or any other drafting program. If you don't know, check out the link up. So today it's really about basically how to build the ground and then part two will be how to build the mesh. So let's get started. Okay, so here I have a model building which uh, is already saved in um, Archicad. It just comes as a model building which will just be my sample building as I show you how to build the ground. I won't start with a plain mesh. So if I do this, um, this building is sitting at zero, I hope. It's not. So let's make it sit at zero. And this ground is starting at zero, I hope it is. This is the ground distance I'm thinking about. So when you see it in 3D, it will be sitting like that. We can later on change the, um, let's change it now, um, the ground, it's saying water, so I'm just going to make it grass. So that's what you're going to see, yeah? But no ground is flat, at least not in Uganda. Everything is hilly or valley or some kind of foam. So let's uh, work with this. I'm just going to rotate it. I press Control E when I want to rotate and Control D when I want to drag. Those are the shortcuts that I have, or Command D or Command E to rotate. And now we're going to come down here to the spline. And um, this is just going to help us make the contours. Um, if you don't have them, then you can import a drawing. Here I imported a drawing, an AutoCAD drawing, DWG, and it has contours. Um, but you can draw your own contours in case you're working with a hypothetical building and you don't yet have the contours, which is rare. But this is just to show you basically and then maybe um, this contour comes like that. Contours don't usually cut through buildings because when you do a building, usually you um, flatten it unless you're doing a step building or if you find a contour going through the building like this, that means one half of the building is on a level and the other half is on a level or the other half that's below um, the contour are, is on stilts. Yeah, But if, it's, if you want it on flat ground, then usually your, your contour will go around the building as of a fill or will go on the back as a cut so if you put then you'll have to uh, manipulate the contour as to how you think your contractor will cut so we're selecting all the spline lines plus the mesh and then we're going to come down here and click on mesh and make sure it's clicked on not the arrow and you're going to press the space bar so it gives you some kind of magic wand and you're going to click one line at a time inside the mesh. So if I click that line, it, it has options here, but make sure it says fit to all ridges so that you have the whole line until this ends touching. Uh, so yes, and then click this ridge, yes. Okay, and okay. And so if I click on the mesh, you see it has picked up the profile of the spline lines. And so, 
if I want to give it um, a drop uh, right now the whole mesh is at zero as we as we saw here it's at zero so we're going to give it a, a mesh so if I just click on one of the lines it will highlight it alone and then I click on it again and then I have my options up here so if you click the option which has a Z on top it's just to elevate the mesh point but I, I'll make sure make sure you click on this apply to all so that all the points on this line are moved if you don't then only that one point will go and it look weird so right now let me leave it at zero and then you know recede but if this is your higher if you already have like your dimensions and stuff your heights then you can work with that and then I'll go to the next point and I'll reduce it by about let's say 1000 and then the next point by about another 1000 another 1000 and at this point I'm only I only want these two points to move not the whole box so I'm not going to press this apply to so I'm going to do by another 1000 on both sides um, and let's see it in 3d so you can see in 3d it has it has uh, moved down the slope and left this part on flat ground this part that you filled so if you did the opposite direction then it would be like a cut around um, so let's say you want this part to be uh, a waterline maybe um, so then you would pick what this this is negative 3000 so you'd make this the same assuming water is flat negative 3000 so that it's the same and then um, if you can just get a line any line like a polyline just to mark out the edges of where your drawing stops um, you can click on the mesh click one of the points cancel this I want this so where there's a negative sign it means I'm going to subtract where it's a positive sign I'm going to add so right now I want to subtract and I'm going to press the space bar so you can see it has removed everything in this area and I'm going to just put the mesh back and it will follow the same uh, profile uh, but right now it's at zero so if you come here um, something with an arrow with a, a space that has elevate so I want it down the negative 3000 and um, I'll give it another material okay, it's at what it's in water so so yeah so it looks like that and so you have your land and you have your water and you have your building yeah and that's it so stay tuned for part two where i'm going to show you how the drawings we brought in the 2d um plan that we brought in how we can use that to uh, build a 3d model of the contours that are already drawn from let's say a surveyor's map and I hope you guys can stay watching. If you really like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Tell people about this channel. I will be bringing you more tutorials on other programs. But for now, I think I won't really exhaust Akika as much as I know how to. Okay, see you. And remember, do it yourself in Korea. Bye.